it's 2020 if you do a loss of leadership. Who, okay, who's the boss? If Henry Ford the second had the, the might a lot of empowerment, the Ford could if Henry Ford the second had left by the law of empowerment, Ford Murder Company might have come grown enough to eventually t overtake General Motors and become the number one car company again. But only secure leaders are able to give power successors. And Henry felt fretted. The success of Tex Torton, Erie Breach, and Lewis Crew. Crusoe, a legendary GM executive who breached had brought into the company, made Henry Ford worry about his own place at Ford. The decision was not based on influence, but his own, but on his, his name and his family's control of the company's stock. What well, was Henry's solution? He began pitting off, pitting off one top, top executive against another. First, Swartz and then Crusoe. Then, after Swartzen was fired, he turned Crusoe against Breach. Four biographers, Peter Collier and David Howitzer, here described the second Henry Ford's message this way. Henry's instinct, instinct for survival manifested itself as craftiness combined with a kind of weakness. He had involved Crusoe with the power to do virtually whatever he wished. That, I mean, endowed Crusoe was the part to do for truly whatever you wish. Mm -hmm. of, well, actually, I seen a lot of water. But was drawing his grace from breach and again, bestowing it on his lieutenant. Bestowing it on his lieutenant. He had made antagonists of two, two men, most rivals of war success. While Henry had lost confidence in breach, where he left him officially in charge of it. This is increased his own vulnerability. As Crusoe is the official superior, we should be useful, depending on the Crusoe and Jack. This became a pattern of the leadership of Henry Ford II. At the time of executive main power and influence, Henry undercut the prison's authority by moving him to a position with less clout. Uh, uh, supporting the executive subordinates or public humiliating him. This maneuver continued all all the days the second was at four. As for president as one for president, Lee Iokoka Iokoka uh, command commented after leaving the company, Henry Ford, as I would have as I would learn firsthand, had a nasty habit of getting rid of strong leaders. I Ayakoka says Ayakoka says that Henry Ford II once described his leadership philosophy to him. Years before Ayakoka became, became its target, Ford said, "If a guy gets, if a guy works for you, don't let him, don't let him get too comfortable. Don't let him get close to your side in his voice. Always be the opposite of what he expects. Keep your people inches and off bounds." So basically. As we can see, Henry Ford II was also not secure. He was afraid that he wouldn't keep his place in the Henry in the Ford Motor Company. So, since he wasn't secure, and he was afraid that he lose his position, remember you have to be a secure leader. That's our lesson. And like it has been for a few days, but that's a good lesson. So your lesson is to be a secure leader. But as we see, since he wasn't secure. And he was afraid. He was picking off his the stronger leaders than him. I think they're even stronger, yeah, but they were like way better than him. And so he was making them go to the lower levels or maybe firing them. I don't really know. But he was just like sending them to the lower levels, which meant it got worse because, well, they're not really like in charge now. So you gotta be a secure leader. Yeah. So ask kids to book on how kids on their mom, dad, and aliens. Only works my books about kids and aliens. So yeah, like and subscribe. Bye.